Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Well, I got a load here. I have boxes from HSN, from Diamond Press, from um, Hunky Dory. Anyway, lots of lots of goodies. But let's just get this out of the way first. All right, I have sucker written across my head. I know I do. But I'm one of those that, you know, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. I'll give you several chances. And then it's just like, you know, and I get burned. And this time I got burned. Well, one of my earlier videos, um, I shared my experience with Scrapbooking Made Simple out of California. And the ships when it ships policy and the months and months and months and months that it takes to get things. Um, even the regular shipping policy is months. I mean, you know, come on. You know, I tried it. It's a, you know... It's a small business. You try to support and all this, but I, anyway. So when a lot of you agreed, you know, how you said that um, y'all had the same experiences and the Better Business Bureau, the complaints, and, you know, on and on and on. There's a lot of satisfied customers, you know, I'm sure hundreds, uh, maybe even thousands. I don't even know. But um, anyway, I shared my experience. So I thought, okay, I'm done. Not anymore. So I gave in and they had these Spellbinders plates at a really good price. It was a bundle deal kind of thing. And, um, she had told this story about, you know, when she was younger and working for this company and on and on and on and about doing the right thing. It's, you know, it's a long story, but anyway, about doing the right thing. So, Anyway, when they offered this, they offered expedite shipping. So Stacy herself said, if you order only from this YouTube, the sale stuff, it's expedited shipping, which means it will go out like within the week or that, that week or next week or something. But anyway, fast, expedited shipping. Okay. So I wait several weeks, nothing. So I send an email asking about it. I get an email back said, know that this does not qualify for expedited shipping. So I politely wrote back and said, yes, it does. And a few other things. And I will read you what I wrote. Um, so you'll understand. Okay, my first uh, email was, good morning. I wanted to check on order such and such. That has, it has been two weeks. The items were paid for at the time that it was ordered. Stacy said on her video class that um, the items would be eligible for expedited shipping. Thank you with my name and address. And then the email I received back was, thank you very much for your email. Unfortunately, this order is not an expedite order. Please know that our normal standard shipping time frame is 30 days. However, due to the pandemic circumstances, uh, supply chains, and staffing issues, our current shipping date is 45 to 60 days. I would like to assure you that we are working on your order, and it goes on. We are so deeply sorry for any delay with your order. As much as we would like, we cannot tell you um, an expected date for shipping. And it goes on. So my reply back was, Thank you for your reply, but according to Stacy, it is an expedited order. She made it very clear in the video that the products um, were in hand, and if the order was paid for and no other products um, were ordered except for this YouTube, Yummy, um, it would be expedite shipping. Uh, I wanted to give Scrapbooking Made Simple another chance, hoping business practices have improved. Has anyone ever thought of scaling back and only selling products that you are capable of handling. Even saying normal shipping time for your company is between 45 and 60 days is not normal or good business. Uh, custom orders made from scratch on various items do not take that long. Selling merchandise you do not have that coming from another country and has a good chance of not making it to the States is not good business practice. And holding on to customers' money for months and not willing to give, let them cancel is just sad. When Stacy told the story of doing the right thing 
and how she wanted to be a good partner to the companies. Uh, why not be a good partner to her customers and do the right thing? So then I get a reply from Stacy, and I cannot find the email, but the gist was um, that she herself tried to give me a call, but I guess they had an old phone number and she wasn't able to reach me. Um, I didn't respond back because I just had surgery and I wasn't in the mood to go back and forth and all that stuff. And then the next thing I know, um, I look on the website about my order. Uh, it finally shows that it's shipped, but then my account had been canceled, which is all, you know, is fine because I'm done. I am totally done. And I wish them the best of luck. Okay, so let's get on with happy stuff. Right, let's see. If I can, I tore into this, but. I still can't get it out. Oh my word. This is crazy. I guess I can open this stuff before I get on here. Because <laughs> this is what happens. Okay. That out of the way. Alright. So Oh, more packing here. I have the Skullbinders Platinum 6. And this is um, the cut and emboss plate system, universal plate system. Um, new extended length and more layers. Seven piece set. Um, and this is for the Platinum and the Platinum 6. And um, anyway, very excited about this. So we'll go over that. I'll get my Platinum 6 out. And, oh, that's the little birdies. Okay, there's my invoice. Okay, so here's Spellbinders. And, of course, looking at this, you think, oh, look at the pretty letters. And I didn't order that. Well, it's the little birdie. They're bad about that. A lot of these companies. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, so it's this little birdie right here. And this one is this little birdie. I just thought those were really cute. And what is this? Oh, a free gift. Thank you for shopping at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We are spring cleaning and this is an extra quality control sample of Stacy's simple, simply defined slash refined product that were never used. Okay, send me a nice little gift, huh? All right, and I've been wanting these and they are sold out everywhere. This Lisa Horton, she has come up with some beautiful embossing folders. This is 3D Heartfelt Daisies. So this is a cut and emboss folder. So this looks like about a six by six. Gorgeous. And then this was a bundle um, five pack. So aren't these just gorgeous? So these are the slimline. These are all 3D. Oh, look at this. Ink up the folder and I mean gorgeous. That's gonna be beautiful. I, th I thought these would be really pretty with um, Anna Griffin stuff too. Okay, sorry about that. And the last one is um, Oriental Bloom. Oh, these are just breathtaking. Love, love, love. I'll be getting some more Lisa Horton stuff, I'm sure. All right, let me get this out of the way. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Oh, this is something I got um, from McCary. This is um, Edith Holden, uh, the Country Diary. Um, of an Ardwar Edwardian lady. <laughs> anyway, of course, I got this for the pages for junk journals. I have several of these books. The hardcover, this one happens to be a soft cover. But just beautiful. So, love that. Some people want like 50 bucks for these. Crazy, crazy. All right, let's see what this one is. This 
one is from HSN. Oh, good. This is some of my stamps from um, Chabella uh, that I've been wanting and couldn't find because they've been out everywhere. So, um, yeah, these are kind of funky. I got these for my medical um, journals. So that one is kind of different. Love that, though. <clears throat> and this one, of course, love the microscope. All the elements. I don't see a name on here. Oh, science. This is just called science. That's what it looks like. I love that size. Oh my goodness. Love those. Um, this is from HSN. This is... What shall it be? What shall it be? Uh, oh, Diamond Press. Oh, the pop-up uh, dye balloons kit. <gasps> I know what I'm going to be doing after this video. We're going to be making this. I love the pop-up um, sets from um, Diamond Press. Oh my gosh, they are just actually perfect. This is an auto ship. I can get it open. See, that's why I try to open this stuff beforehand, and if I don't, then I fight with it. <laughs> like this. Oh, there we go, maybe. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Look at that. Let's take a little peek at this. This is, uh, these are such good size. Actually, the 4th of July one um, I'm going to be making uh, for some neighbors to invite them over for um, a 4th of July party. So look at that. I mean, that's good size. Happy birthday. Hooray. Congratulations. So let's see if there's one made up that you can see. There we go. So when you open up the card, that's what it does. This, this folds down and then when you open it, it pops up. So yes, please, we'll be doing this one next. Oh, I love these. All right, I need to make some up anyway for um, birthdays and things because my daughter's always coming home going, Mom, Mom, it's so-and-so's birthday. <laughs> okay. All right, and then this was, this is Diamond Press from Diamond Press, their website. And I'm thinking this is a three... Yeah, the three said if you ordered all three like a bundle you got a free washi tape which we love that and this is let me see whimsical butterflies and prize ribbon and flower fields very nice. Well, I'll go over all these when we get them out to play with, which will be very, very soon, because I'm loving all this. All right, let me see. Do I have anything else right here? Yes. I'm going kind of fast, because I have lots of goodies. I may have to split this into two videos if I get to talking too much. This one is Sending Sunshine from Diamond Press. Mm -hmm. What is this? Take a quick peek. Oh, look at that. So we have some flamingos. <laughs> Very tropical looking. Oh, this is... Does this go with the never ending? Sending sunshine. Oh, this is the... This goes with the maybe the never ending card. Um... Never ending card sending sunshine. Okay, so this is an auto ship. Um, yeah, so we made the never ending card. I forget what that theme was, but uh, we will do this again. So, yeah, it just keeps folding and folding and folding. Lots of fun. Okay. All right, let me set that to the side and then let me grab something else. Okay, 
These are from HSN. Let's see what these are. Oh, more stamps. Yes. More of my sciencey kind of stamps here. This is Chabella. This one is called Enigma. Look at that. And these are great size. Oh my goodness. This one is confidential, I bet. Yep, confidential. The old telephone. There's the um, stamp holder. Anyway, that's really cool. Looks like old papers there. Your dates. Oh. oh, these are better than what I thought. This one is called Classified. Old reels, camera, magnifying glass, broken glass. All of the secrets of the world worth knowing are hidden in plain sight. There you go. Oh, love, love, love. And this one is called Top Secret. The typewriter, desk lamp, top secret, private. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Better than I expected. All right, let's see what this one is. This is also HSN. And. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Yes, I thought this would be so much fun. Creative Expressions. This is Designer Boutique Stained Glass Dove of Peace. And it's a stamp. That's going to be a lot of fun to color, to um, use Versamark and emboss it, or Versamark and then use Perfect Pearls or, you know, some of those pearl type things. Yes. And that's a great size, too. All right. And then these were some things that they had on sale um, that I really liked, uh, especially to go in journals, you know, for tags and then in the corner of the pages and things. So loving that. Mini strips mirrored. Yeah, I love these. So this one you have one, two, three. So this one cuts into, looks like, and then there's a border and then there's a border. And same thing here. This one has two, so that one could cut into the paper. And then this one would cut the whole thing out. And then I thought this was really neat. This Roses uh, Frames and Tags Doodle Rose Wreath. So you can layer it. So this would all cut into. And then there's the piece that would cut the middle out. And then cut the whole thing out. And then here's an extra rose that you could cut out to lay on top. And then a leaf. I just thought that was really neat. All right. Well, we're going to call it a day for now because I have two huge boxes um, and that may take a while. So until next time, bye for now.